When approaching tide races, you'll often want to move out of the rough stuff into a zone of calmer water. Either to rest, plan the next section, or simply stop for a play. It's tempting to treat this move in the same way as a break-in. There are, however, a few essential differences. Remember, you're on a moving carpet of fast water approaching your target, so anticipation and planning are essential to success. Set an angle across the flow. The faster the water, the further upstream you'll need to aim. With the angle set, it's time to get the kayak moving and create some cross-current speed. You'll need this to punch through the eddy line and get established in the calm water beyond. Once again, we edge into the turn to stay in balance. Just as with break-ins, it's all about speed and angle. Get it right and we're perfectly primed for a smooth breakout. Depending on the speed of approach and the size of the eddy line, we can paddle actively into the eddy or drift across on the last of our forward speed. Braces and reverse sweeps can further tighten the turn, but remember to combine angle and speed to get the whole boat into calm water. Here we see the same skill performed in bigger water. The key to success here is cross current speed, momentum towards the target eddy. As a result, we can cross the eddy line cleanly and get established deep into the calm water. Often, we need to tighten the radius of the turn, especially if our target eddy is small or obstructed. A vertical paddle on the inside of the turn provides an anchor around which the kayak can spin. Remember to plant the blade over the eddy line in the calm water of the eddy. A small blade angle will provide purchase without generating turbulence. Rotation into the turn will keep the body in a strong, safe position for this dynamic stroke. Once established in the eddy, we may need to complete the turn quickly to control our position, especially if close to a turbulent eddy line. Here we see effective use of outside edge to complete the turn and avoid running into the rocks. The more we edge the kayak, the more manoeuvrable it becomes. Here we see a solid commitment to the edge to create a tighter turn as the kayak crosses the eddy line. Edging hard will also slow the kayak, so consider boat speed and the size of the eddy line when using this skill.